Welcome back. I have a lot of students who have problems with basic simplification of square roots and I thought I'd make this worksheet to get you to do a few examples. By the end of this worksheet you should be able to simplify square roots pretty easily. So let's do this one. We have square root of 132. Let's see what uh, what can go into that. You see that's an even number so 2 goes into that and then 2 goes into that 66 times. We could break that down further. 2 goes into 66 33 times and then we could break down 33 by 3 and 11. And then when we have it all broken down, we try to see what pairs up. There's a pair of twos and that's the only pair. Whenever there's a pair, you can cross one out and then the other one goes outside of the square root, so to speak. So then it would be two. And then what we didn't have paired up is the three times 11. And then when we multiply that, we get two outside of the square root of 33. And that's the simplified version. It is two square root of 33. Uh, let's do some more examples. Square root of 76, that could be broken down to 2 times 38. And 38 could be broken down into 2 times 19. And as you can see there, there's a pair of 2s and there's a 19. 19 doesn't break down. So the pair of 2s, you can cross one out and then the other one comes out of the square root. And so then we have 2 times the square root of 19. That's the simplified version there. Let's do the square root of 48. That one, 2 goes into the... 48, 24 times, 2 goes into 24, 12 times, 2 goes into 12, 6 times, and then 6 breaks down to 2 times 3. Now we have four twos, and or two pairs of twos, if you want to say it that way, and then you can keep two twos and uh, cross out the other ones, and then when you have uh, more than one number coming out, you multiply it. So you have a 2 times 2, and then the square root of 3 didn't break down and 2 times 2 is 4. So that's the answer there. We have 4 square root of 3. The next one, we have square root of 16. Uh, break that down, you got 2 times 8, and then the 8 is 2 times 4, and then the 4, you have 2 times 2. And as you can see here, you have 4 twos. And then, uh, so there's 2 pairs of twos, and then those come out, there's nothing left, and then that's just 2 times 2, because we had 2 pairs, uh, which is 4. Uh, it, it's good to know the the squares of two. Uh, so here's a good opportunity to practice some of them. Uh, two to the first is two. Two squared is four. Two cubed is eight. Two to the fourth power is 16. Two to the fifth is 32. Two to the sixth is 64. Two to the seventh is 128. You should know those. That'll help you a lot in simplifying square roots. Let's do another one. Square root of 77. That one, uh, it's not an even number, so 2 doesn't go into it, 3 doesn't go into it, 4 doesn't go into it, 5 doesn't go into it, 6 can't go into it, 7 would go into it 11 times. So we have a 7 and 11. Both of those are prime numbers, and so 7 times 11, we can't do anything with that. The square root of 77 is the most simplified version of that number. Now, let's do a geometry equation. Oh, what the heck is going on? What's going on? I am in a square. I am a square. So if we have a square where the area is 32, let's say, um, and then obviously so x, if it's the area is 32, then x squared equals 32. Um, each side would then be the square root of 32. We need to then get the simplified version of the square root of 32. Get me out of here. Uh, the square root of 32, 2 goes into that 16 times. And if you remembered the uh, the, the two, you know, the perfect squares of two, we have two times 16 and 16 is four times four. So then we have a pair of fours, the four comes out, uh, and there's no other pair for that, that one, two. Uh, so we have four times the square root of two. That is the most simplified version of the square root of 32. Now let's try a right triangle. In a right triangle, there's a good opportunity to, to go over a couple principles. If you have a right triangle where the two sides are equal and then there's a hypotenuse uh, well for one we have a, what's called a 90 45 45 both those angles are going to be 45 degrees and then we have uh, the let's say each side is the square root of 22 anytime you have this kind of right triangle where two sides are equal the hypotenuse will just be whatever that side is times the square root of two so here we have the square root of 22 is each side and then uh, the hypotenuse would then be the square root of 22 times the square root of 2 
to do that, you could literally just multiply 22 times a 2, and then all of it would be in a square root. So the hypotenuse then would be square root of 44. Let's see if we can simplify that. 44, we have 4 times 11. And then whenever you see the 4, uh, as you know, that's 2 times 2. So that's a pair of 2s. The 2 would come out. Uh, the 11 won't. That's a prime number. So the simplified version of the square root of 44 is 2 times the square root of 11. Uh, now remember, the 2 times the square root of 11, that's the same uh, value as the square root of 44. It's just simplified version of it. All right, good stuff. Um, my recommendation is do these uh, square root problems. Keep practicing them. They are very important.